What's up guys, my name is I Miss Too Much, and today we're going to be covering how to find credentials in a remote server using Shell Web. And this is going to be a lot like the last tutorial that came out, but for right now, um, this is really the only exploit that I found that works. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to our hack shop, and I clicked on one of these credentials needed jobs, and it gave me this information right here. And now, with the current state of the game, one thing you need to do before you download or buy anything from the hack shop is you need to end map and then you need to do the IP address. And you need to make sure that there is a tool in the hack shop that works with this because there is a bug right now. Um, for example, I actually have a bunch of them that don't work right now. So if you notice that like most of these stop um, at 2.6, 2.5, 2.6. But if you go over here and say try to take this academic credentials thing, um, you'll see that it doesn't actually work. So really, until this is fixed, you have to make sure that you can actually do this mission before you buy anything or uh, try to mess with it at all. So like this one right here says Web 2.8. As you can see, Shell Web only goes up to 2.5. Web3, which I can't even get to work right now. I'm still trying to play with it. I'm probably going to ask something on the forums later. Um, you can see that it doesn't have the current version. So just make sure that you can actually do the mission before you start them. And then what you're going to do is already have it downloaded. Um, but if we go back to the hack shop really quick, keep going back over here, you'll see that you need uh, Shell Web 1.0. It's pretty cheap and you do get paid for doing all this stuff. So we're gonna go back over here and nice thing is you can delete these now, which I'm really happy about. So we need to get access to this remote machine and it's actually very easy to do this. So all you need to do is you need to do shell web um, in your 1.0 folder, which I really recommend separating uh, your downloads by version because only certain versions work with certain versions on here and you'll just keep overriding them and having to rebuy them and stuff like that. So just keep them all in separate folders to keep kind of organized. So we're going to do shell web, 233, uh, and then all this. And then we're into here. And the only thing really, you really need to do is like, yeah, you can mess around. Uh, one of the easiest ways to make money in this game, which we covered in the last one where we explored banks, is you go, you can go into the config folder and you can go through and cat all the bank.txt files and you can use that to and if you copy all that down into a notepad and save it you can decipher that and get the bank account passwords and transfer them into your own bank account but today all we're going to do is we're going to cat the password file um, which is etc and right now it says they, they need any um, credential sometimes it asks for a certain user but all you do is since you can't really copy anything from the HTTP shell, you go up to your notepad, you copy all this information down. We're going to steal root uh, because it looks a little bit shorter. And then from here, you can just save it. I save them as password.txt. So if I do a lot, I can just press like up and do the same command. Now that we have that, we go over here, we're going to go to decipher. And then it's going to start deciphering the password. And you found that the password is express. So now all you have to do is you go over here and you just type express. Uh, it used to have issues where it'd say like you didn't complete the job, but uh, now that's been fixed. And you get a thing saying, good job. You know, there's an income in your account. And if we go up to here and see that you actually get paid, which I don't know. Yeah, you get paid $200 a mission, which is pretty cool. So we have $540. Really, um, you'd actually make more money just stealing the passwords from the bank accounts. Cause I've seen that a lot of the people that do this are loaded. So. I recommend doing that and checking out the previous tutorial where we did basically the same thing, um, but with bank pa bank passwords 
Uh, this is just kind of a tutorial covering how to actually get the credentials. When the academic changes um, missions get done, I'm going to do a tutorial on those. And then when other exploits, I can actually figure out the other exploits. I'm going to go ahead and take care of those. But for right now, these videos are probably going to be spaced out a little bit more than they have been just because like uh, we've reached a point where a lot of the stuff that we should be covering is in development. So I have to kind of wait until those are 100% working before I can cover that. So thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, go ahead, hit that like button. If you want to see some more of these tutorials as well as a couple other playthroughs of other games, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.